Hello, in this video I'm about to explain how to create graphs, even temporal series uh, graphs, two-dimensional graphs or x-y plots and three-dimensional plots uh, including uh, three-dimension uh, three x, y and z, ok? So, uh, I have just prepared an example, it's rather quite simple and uh, similar to uh, uh, the one we previously saw regarding with uh, controlling uh, the velocity of the joint. I just simply added here an object which is a special kind of object, it's called a dummy. This dummy is just an object that I will use to register uh, the position. Uh, dummy objects uh, can be used also for the inverse kinematic module to, to set the relation or pos uh, of the position or orientation between uh, different kind of uh, links, but this is something we will see in a different video, ok? But, um, uh, particularly in this video I'm interested in explaining about uh, creating uh, graphs uh, in order to record a data stream, ok? So, we have to start by adding a graph here in the add menu graph, yeah? And then we have uh, here uh, our graph, that we have some uh, uh, options here, we can, uh, we can check or uncheck these things and this will be the actual uh, window in which we will uh, display the graph, ok? And uh, we have time series graph and we have xy graphs as well, ok? And um, yeah, so we can uh, show them or hide them depending what we want, ok? During the simulation or not, ok? So how graphs work are rather quite simple because we have to access uh, to the properties of the graph and then then we have here a data stream uh, recording list. This will be the list of variables that I would like to register or to record in order to display my graphs, let's say with the time series or the xy graph or whatever, ok? So, for instance, let's say we here we can uh, add a um, uh, data stream regarding with uh, positions and orientations of uh, objects in my scene, but also uh, whatever interesting variable about joints, uh, also about any kind of sensors like proximity sensors and everything, ok? So, what you have to do is click here and then here you have the data stream, uh, stream type and there, here is where you select exactly what you want to register. As you can see, there's a huge list, ok? In this example, I'm just basically interested in the absolute x position of the object, ok? So, I'm just selecting this thing here and then the object I'm interested in, which is the tip. Ok, so I register this stream and then I change the name and I, s I rename it as x here. And then I do the same thing with the y absolute position of the same object. Ok, and then I rename it here. Ok, so then on every data stream I can apply specific transformations, let's say to uh, scale it or to uh, apply some kind of offset and also I can decide if I want to be visible or if, if I want this uh, data stream to be visible on the time graph prop uh, uh, here, ok? And also if I want to show the, uh, the label and if I want to link uh, any, of the joint or any of the points I'm registering, ok? So, it's a continuous line, ok? I can obviously uh, modify the color of the cure, so I can set, for instance, the x coordinate to be blue, sorry, blue, yeah, and uh, so this will be blue and this will be by default red, ok? Uh, in order to apply the changes we have to check and uncheck this thing here, ok? So, we, we see the updates here, ok? So, uh, if I run or if I press the, the play button here, you will see that we have here the time plot or the time graph that we have created, particularly we are registering in the x and the y position here, ok? And you can see it has this sinusoidal uh, aspect as, as expected, ok? So, this is uh, one thing, but then we can also create xy graphs or 3D curves, ok? So, with xy graphs, it's rather quite simple as well, so we can edit it here and add a curve we want to register based on the uh, data stream we have here. So, we have to select for the x uh, coordinate which 
variable or, or which data we want to register, which is the x in this case, and for the y we want to register the y, we accept that. We can modify as well the color, so we can uh, leave it like that, whatever, ok? And then here, I close this thing here, and in here, I will have, uh, if I even select this thing here, I will have a, uh, uh, let's for instance uncheck the label, uh, yeah, because it, it, it did not finish before, ok, yeah. So now if I click on the play, I have the xy graph that is being created, created and uh, as you can see, it's obviously working properly, ok? So this will complete the circle once it has uh, completed the, the full turn, ok? So also, let's, let's uh, stop it, ok? Also I can create uh, here 3D cubes, ok? The difference with 3D cubes is that they will not be displayed here in this uh, window here, but they will be directly displayed on the uh, scene that we have here. So, in order to generate 3D cubes, ok, let, let me first register another uh, stream object, will be the Z position of the tip. And let's rename it with Z. Ok, so now I can create a 3D cube here and add a new one, and register again x with x, y with y, z with z, and set whatever, whatever I want here, I can increase the size I would like to, to display, and also the color, whatever, let's say green color, whatever, ok, and then I accept all the changes, and then I have a 3D graph right there in my uh, simulation. You can see that it's working properly, ok? So I can use it in order to trace the movement of, of a specific uh, object, ok? So thank you very much.